excited. If anyone who doesn't know, I am moving from Ireland to the UK today. And no, I'm not an idiot who is moving for the hell of it during a global pandemic. I'm moving for college. Um, and I will be quarantining for 10 days or until I get both of my COVID tests back negative. Even though, technically speaking, I don't have to do either of these things because I'm moving from Ireland to the UK. And apparently because you colonized us once, that means we can't give you disease. Okay, sure. Um, but yes, I'm moving today. I'm very excited. For anyone wondering what this mess is all about, um, I decided last night, well, I decided ages ago, but last night I was going to bleach my roots and dye my hair so that when I arrived in Bradford I'd have a nice, pretty hair, shiny, pretty, new. Um, so I bleached my roots, I went downstairs, ordered takeaway for my final meal, came back upstairs when it was done developing, had my finger on the button to turn on the shower and blackout for hours. By the time the power came back on, it was 11.30. Um, so was not going to be dying my hair at 11.30 at night, I instead stayed up till 5 a.m. watching YouTube videos. <laughs> Also, funny fact, all the showers in my house run on electricity, so I had to wash my hair in a sink to get all the bleach out. It was fun. I scrubbed very, very hard. So, um, that is uh, step one for moving day. Fix this hair. <laughs> Luckily, my flight's not until 9pm or else I'd be travelling with like 10 different shades of blonde going on. vlog plant tour. These are all the babies I have to leave behind. My ivy, my other ones, and that one that I thought was dead but now seems to be getting really tall. And all of them. And my air plant. And then this guy. I'm so sad that I have to leave them. My parents have promised to take care of my plant babies and I will hold them to that. If they are dead upon my return or their arrival in the UK. I'm gonna be hella pissed because I've only killed like three of them so my parents are not allowed to kill any of them um, also yes my hair I fixed it isn't it nice look I'm all bright and shiny and new and ready to go into isolation <laughs> Weird, I kind of thought the weather would be the same, but apparently not. This is my dorm room. I'll have duvets or a pillow, so I'm ordering those now. I uh, also made myself some soup, because it'd be damn cold, and the radiator's warming up. Um, tell you the truth, I walked in, and my heart kind of sunk a little bit. Like, there's nothing wrong with this place um, at all. It's exactly as advertised. It's just kind of, I don't know, it gives me a depressing vibe. I think I'll just kind of have to like move in. Uh, the kitchen is very bare. I thought there'd be a kettle. There isn't. Um, there's a microwave. So I, I microwave in my soup. <laughs> but I think it's just that I need to like, you know, put my stuff everywhere and maybe it'll feel a little bit better. Um, I wouldn't normally mind except I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this room because lockdown. But that's also the other annoying thing is I can't fully like put my mark on this room because lockdown. <laughs> but yeah, as far as I can tell from the kitchen at least, like I'm the only one here because everything's not, there's nothing in the kitchen. But that could just be that everyone's like me. 
and doesn't have anything. Um, as far as I'm aware, everyone else in this um, dorm is like me and is like starting in January. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the week progresses. I'm gonna go um, buy a duvet and pillows now. Maybe some pots and pans too. I feel very adult. <laughs> my bed because it is freezing and I don't have a duvet yet and I was so cold last night and I kept waking up and moving so now I've now moved it as close to the radiator as I can get it. The radiator only goes on for two hours at a time but hopefully I can still get this area warm enough where I'm not like freezing just for the next few days until my stuff arrives so I sleep on the floor now under a jacket, a scarf, a blanket and a sheet which I then like fold over on top of everything if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. So it is Monday and I haven't actually gotten up to a lot because quarantine. <laughs> um, I just went to pick up my post though because I ordered a like oven tray from Amazon. I also ordered a pot and pan but I ended up cancelling them because it was cheaper to get them from Ikea even though they won't be here for three weeks but my freezer is stocked full of frozen ready meals, so I'll be fine. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be eating frozen ready meals for the rest of my thing. I do plan on cooking. I just don't have cooking equipment at the moment. And my duvet is coming on Wednesday to Friday. Um, when I was coming in from picking up my post, I, I bumped into my roommate as well. It's the first time I've ever met her. Um, literally, like, she was coming out of the dorm and I was coming into the dorm. And we were like, oh, hi, haven't met you before. Nice to meet you! And then that was it. <laughs> like, no names or anything. Um, I think it was just, like, a little awkward, like, because we didn't expect to bump into each other. And I've been a little, like, I've intentionally been staying out of the kitchen when I hear that she's in there. Because, you know, I don't want to be, like, walking into her space. And technically I'm in quarantine. Even though I don't have to be. Um, I don't want to be, like, you know, I don't want to be in her way or whatever. I don't know what's going on. I said that to her. <laughs> to the guy at reception and he was like yeah no I totally get that um it's better to be safe than sorry I was like thanks guy at reception <laughs> for accepting my social awkwardness <laughs> um also I was supposed to be getting a um covid test today from the university but you need your student id to get it I don't have a student id yet so um I can't get one and in order to like reschedule the whole thing it would be like the end of my 10 day quarantine anyway, so I just think I'm just gonna live with quarantine for the next few days. I mean, like, like I've been saying this whole time, I don't technically need to be in quarantine, but I am, because I think that rule is stupid. I think I should be in quarantine. But yeah, um, it's been kind of lonely. <laughs> I thought it would be okay, because I'm like in my room all the time at home anyway. But like, I guess I have my family around at home and I can choose to interact with them when I want to, whereas I've been like purposely choosing not to interact with people. Um, but yeah, I hope, I just want to get out. I want to like walk around the city, even though like nothing's open. I still just want to like walk around the city and stuff. But hopefully there's only a few, few more days left of this and then classes will start. And I'm just excited for like everything to start. Also, I want my duvet to get here. I want a snuggle under my duvet with some pillows. God damn it. So I just got tr through <laughs> recording a podcast episode for Coffee and Hatchment Podcast with um, Angelina Scoff or Zen, um, where we were like discussing the moves and discussing her previous moves in the past and all of that. So if anyone wants to check out that episode of the podcast by now it'll probably already be up on coffee and ketchup podcast on youtube or wherever else you listen to podcasts but yeah we were basically just like talking about the move talking about like some things i'm worried about and some things i'm like too embarrassed and too shy to ask even though like things i kind of need to know like what's the story with the bins and you know where's the laundry room <laughs> 
saw my back because I came in the middle of the night so the security guy like couldn't tell me all these things um so I know I'm gonna have to ask him eventually I probably should have asked when I was speaking up the parcel earlier because I don't want to be going down to reception a lot because I'm supposed to be like isolating as much as possible um but yeah and then I was streaming on Twitch for a while which was nice it was nice to be able to chat with some people again um but yeah, it's been actually a pretty <laughs> productive day. I just made myself some porridge with some um, golden syrup in it because I wanted something sweet and warm. And I got some water. sleeping on the floor. I also moved that because it was in the way of the radiator. But more importantly, I have full on broken my laptop. <laughs> well, not like completely broken it. So the C key has been missing for a while, which was fine. It's like a year at this point, but this little rubber thing has now come off. So whenever I type, it like goes flying across the keyboard. I have to put it back. And also this little LED here, and one here, and one here, and they're not working, and the shift key's not working either. And I spilled some coffee on it the other day, and I was like cleaning it up, so I like pressed down on all these buttons while the computer was still on, which I know, not a genius idea. But um, yeah, that's when this and the shift key stopped working. And that's happened before, but I can't remember how to fix it, and I've literally like tried every idea in every online form, and none of them were working. So, I mean, I can use the, there's a on-screen keyboard that I can use, um, which I have been using, but it's like just slow going. It's fine at the moment until I can like get it to a repair shop or something, but it's not ideal. So my brother let me borrow his Disney Plus and I got to watch WandaVision and it was awesome. Why is there only two episodes? I thought it was going to be like the whole first season and I'm very upset. I've been in bed all day with my pillows and my duvet. I feel like I'm so happy to have my pillows and my duvet. Yeah, I feel like I'm finally getting settled here. My Ikea order is coming on the 26th so in like three weeks, two weeks, three, I don't know what time it's. Um, then I'll have like mostly everything and I'll be out of here in, in a few days. I'm running out of cereal. <laughs> I've been eating, it's it's like five o'clock in the evening and I'm eating cereal because I'm an adult. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here because it's been a whole week. <laughs> um, mostly just me chilling in my room because I'm not really supposed to be leaving my room. Um, yeah, I don't know what else there is to say. It's been a weird experience. I start welcome week on Monday and then I start classes the week after that. So I don't know if I'll be vlogging next week, but I'll definitely be vlogging the week after that um, for like my class to start and everything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I wanted to say like thank you so much for anyone who watched the last vlog because at the moment it's on like 600 views, which for being up for a week for me is like crazy and I'm almost at 300 subscribers which is also kind of crazy so thank you so much I didn't think that video would do very well my vlogs don't generally do well which I kind of understand um but thank you so much for that um and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one provided my duvet doesn't eat me alive because I'm now living solely on my bed <laughs> okay i'll see you guys next one and make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel for more videos <laughs> okay whatever bye